good. Hey, Jake. So, uh, good news is this stream, my phone is dead, and I also remember to turn my webcam off so you guys don't have to stare at my ugly ass face. Hey, Vermeil. God damn it, already? Okay, well, we're starting the stream off with a fucking bang, boys. Already got a glitch. Woohoo. Move my mic closer to my face. Okay. This time. Don't fucking kill anything. Just just work like you're supposed to work. Oh, son of a bitch. I forgot to minimize task manager. I almost kind of hope... My... Damn it. Okay, well... Is it worth rolling the dice and restarting my game so I can read chat? Yeah, no, I need to be able to read chat. Cause, you know, it's a fucking stream. I can't not read chat. So we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna fucking do the unspeakable here and try to tab out. Uh. Okay. Uh, yeah, New Vegas is dead. Okay, yeah, New Vegas did not like that. Clementine will remember that. Alright. Hey, Elemental. Yeah, so, Jake, I just read that whole chat. Sorry, that's why I was, like, zoned in. Uh, the, the one about getting banned from a Discord server because of a vehement hatred of anime. Uh, I get that. Um, because that used to be me, 100%. Um, because I used to, and, and I'll, uh, this is, uh, this is what I'll say. I'll say that the majority of the people who really like anime were like, from an outside perspective, were just fucking weird. They're like fat, greasy nobodies who just like, it smelled like they lived in a masturbatorium their entire life. Um, just not pleasant human beings. And that that's like what... I an instant fucking main menu glitch. God damn it. Son of a bitch. 
Being able to read chat wasn't worth it. Um, but yeah, no, it used to be me because I used to like give that, like that appearance, that stereotype used to be my opinion of like what every person who even moderately enjoyed anime was. So, um, well, yeah, no, that's, that's something I still openly decry is any sexualization of anime characters because I am against pornography um, as a, pretty much as a whole at this point in my life. Uh, I think there's nothing good about it, so uh, it just ruins society. So, um, I mean, granted, I'm not saying it should be illegal. I'm saying I, I don't think there should be laws governing anything like that, federally at least. But, I mean, yeah, I, I, I have, in, in general, the porn industry, I, I have a pretty, pretty palpable hatred of um, but, um, the main thing with that is, yeah, I, I agree, uh, sexualizing characters in anime, because most of the time they're, if not directly children, definitely look like children, and that shit's fucked up, so, I agree, and I still do agree, despite, admitting that I like the anime art style, um, and despite admitting that I've watched two shows to completion, so, uh, Girls in Panzer and Gate, and finished both shows, and genuinely enjoyed them, um, even rewatched uh, a few, uh, those two a few times, and they, uh, you know, genuinely enjoyed it um but it's like american tv i mean you're there's gonna be shows that are on tv that fucking normal human beings don't like and like 99 percent of shit um i'm only like i don't know i i just think that Fucking shit! Oh god damn it! I'm Joe Bidening. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, I, I, whatever. Think what you will, but I, I, I think that people who are like super fans about pretty much anything are fucking weirdos. Like, just because somebody likes anime or likes the art style doesn't mean they're a fucking creep they're a super fan that's like sitting there fucking a body pillow and living in a masturbatorium then fuck them they're weird same people that fucking same same thing with people who do like weird shit with fucking anything like that like guns like fucking there's plenty of people that come in and buy shitloads of guns that they like, I'm not against them owning, but I'm like, hey, dude, you know, you don't need to spend eight grand on a fucking pistol when you can't shoot a, a five-inch group at ten yards. Like, y you know, fucking good God. You don't need an eight grand pistol. I actually filmed myself doing, like, pistol Mozambique drills the other day, and I was debating on uploading it somewhere, but I stopped myself. Because it'd be cringy, but yeah, no, there's people that come in there with shit like, yeah, they like come in there looking for like an atlas or something. Like we have a rental atlas. Uh, it's a competition 2011 as it sits on our wall with the Trojicon SRO and everything as it sits on our wall, $8,500. It is a ridiculously expensive pistol. <sighs> 
And then you have the expensive pistol to a plebeian like me, which is the Staccato. That's a $2,000 pistol. And the Staccato, uh, like the Staccato Model P, is what uh, John Wick had. And the Staccato Model P is their duty model. So it's got, like, a uh, flared magwell and everything. Still a really good trigger. Uh, and a uh, optic mount. Um, no, no, you really couldn't, Jake. Like, the, the Atlas trigger is, like, uh, let me tell you how it goes when I, I hand people the Atlas. It is always, here, try the trigger on it. Click. Okay, now try the trigger like you actually meant to pull it. Because it is fucking surprisingly light. Like, even if you go into it expecting it to be a featherweight trigger, no matter what your expectation is, probably half. So, it's, it's a, uh, it, yeah, it is like an insanely good competition trigger. It's a single stage competition trigger. It's fucking phenomenal. Um, but, like, flared magwell two-piece slides to the uh, front sight block kind of serves as, like, a compensator, sort of, um, because it's not comped, but the, it, it fixes the barrel in place, so the barrel doesn't move during firing, and, um, it's a really complicated engineering choice, but yeah. Uh, the, the triggers, uh, the tri Atlas triggers are, like, insane. So, I mean, if you were really skilled, but it requires, like, extremely good knowledge of, like, uh, 5-axis machining, tolerance spec, shit like that. Like, it is crazy hard to do. Like, I I'm, I don't want to say I'm, like, uh, you know, a uh, a fucking, you know, end all be all, but I'd say I'm well versed in firearms. I don't know if I could build something like that. Even if I had access to all the machinery. I I genuinely don't think I could build something that high quality. Like given a limitless amount of time. Like maybe eventually, like just trial and error. Maybe. But it it would not be something that's easy to do. Yeah, so, actually, real quick, as we're, uh, dis uh, real quick, before I go into this story, um, we need to decide what to do. So we can do a, we can do the main quest a little bit. Yeah, let's do the main quest. We need to get, so we need to get the cons to break their alliance with Caesar's Legion. That's the first thing we're doing. Yeah, no, I actually... So... Over here. What the fuck? Why is it every time I go to Red Rock, I have a fucking ranger with me? God, that's fucking annoying. Oh, and now God is constantly on my map. Okay, well, shout out to the big homie upstairs. Um. Fuck. Okay. I guess I'll fast travel to... Fuck, I guess I'll fast travel outside. Shit. I don't want a fucking ranger to just show up and start massacring everybody. Like fucking Bitter Springs 2.0. Jesus H. Christ. The NCR really have a hard on for murdering the cons. Uh. 
Oh, and now the game crashed. Joy. Oh, I've never been convicted of a felony. <laughs> but boy, does does play in New Vegas sometimes give me some fucking thoughts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking main menu glitch again, god damn it. And, and of course, like, the one time that I have my camera off, I'm actually, like, emotive on camera and not just looking like a husk of a human being. Um, I know this because I'm not toasted off my mind right now. Uh, I'm just very tired from spending a long-ass day at the doctor's. <laughs> I had to go to my fucking endocrinologist, then I had to go to my primary care, then I had to go get another fucking MRI. No, I didn't get fisted. I'm telling you right now, anybody that wants to come near my ass... ...in any setting... ...they better be fucking armed and skilled. Because there is no goddamn way it's going willingly. <laughs> yeah, I'll fast travel to the fucking Poseidon gas station and walk there. I'm not walking there from fucking Searchlight. I'm not that goddamn crazy. Okay, do I have a ranger with me this time? No, I don't. I guess they only join me when I try to fast travel to fucking Red Rock. So they're like, oh, Core Hero 6 going to fucking Red Rock. Hey, you want to recreate Bitter Springs real quick, homie? That could be a fun afternoon activity. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when my endocrinologist gloved up and was like, oh, we need to give you, uh, need to give you an exam and ask my father to step out of the room, I was like, a little worried. And then he gloved up <laughs> and I said, wait a minute, <laughs> hold on a fucking second. Looks like somebody has um... We don't have that kind of relationship. Uh, if you're going near my ass, I'll tell you this. Uh, you're not big enough and there's not enough of you. So, uh... He, he goes, don't worry. Don't worry. It's not happening. Thank God. Um... Just need to do a testicular exam. As I... I Okay. So, uh... I, I said... Well, part of me was like, alright, well I want to see if this shit's fucking normal. Because, uh, my boys be hanging, alright? And, uh, it's put it pretty delicately. And... They... I was like, okay, well, this is a perfect opportunity to see if this is normal. But my goddamn, my goddamn endocrinologist looks like the goddamn crypt keeper, and sure, sure as hell isn't fucking something I, I I want going around touching my fucking gonads. 
E even with his, like, creepy crypt keeper fingers fucking gloved up. Um... So... Uh, I'm- I'm straight up not having a good time right about now. Um... Pretty much, uh... Pretty much having a borderline fucking panic attack. Um... So I'm like, listen. You don't look. You just do what you gotta do, you get it over with, and then it's done. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay. And he gets it over with, and... There we go. We're done. So... That's the- uh, that's the end. That's- that's all that happened. So, no. Nobody is, uh, getting near that part of me. Uh, ain't gonna happen. In my- like I said previously, the doctor isn't fucking big enough and there's not enough of them for that to happen. And if I do go down, I'm gonna go down the way the good lord intended, swinging. The way the good lord and John Moses Browning intended. Okay. We're at Red Rock. <sighs> Does the NCR want to uh, send uh, send somebody over here to try to recreate Bitter Springs again? No? No? Okay, good. Sweet. <laughs> He's in prison guards and SWAT trying to subdue Charles Bronson. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, the dog fucking spooked me, and I was straight up not having a good time. Oh, fuck's sakes, he did show back up. God damn it. Good. I can loot the corpse. Doing. Uh, nothing really. Just try Sounded like you were writing poetry. Oh, you, the followers of the apocalypse came. Uh. Yeah. Well, I. Uh. Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. You're, do you think the follow? Uh. You think so? I mean. You do that? I'm robbing the corpse. First things first. We need to break the Khan's allegiance with Caesar. It's easy because I've speed ran this game like 50 fucking times. Uh, the only hard part is apparently I have a mod that changes the layout of fucking Red Rock Canyon. So, uh, my ass doesn't know where it's going right now.
Maybe I should write something about how much the great comics suck. Yeah, so I, uh, TLDR basically, uh, everything that's going on. Um, I have a tumor in my head. Uh, and they have to go in and take it out on the 22nd. Uh, short version, I'll have some time off work. So I'm probably going to be streaming around then. Also, Payday 3 comes out on the 23rd. So, I'm going to try to be out of the fucking hospital so I can stream on launch day. God, look at this no, it's not anything serious. Do themselves a favor and give up. Better than following a used up drunk like Papa. Okay, and... Greetings in the name of Kai. They're a tribe of fine warriors. So the cub enters the wolf's den. You march all. It's because of that that we what have you now? Hmm. Well, you're a bull. Doesn't he? The glory. I won't. I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to join with Caesar. Name's Regis. I'm Papa's second in command. You might say, I you want to convince Papa not to ally. He's fixated on restoring the. Papa can be as stubborn. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad. I have my doubts about Caesar, yes, but I won't pub. I've heard. You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been... Uh, personally... Carl... I wish there were more like you. You've been doing good things for us. Let me see that. Great Khan. Hey! Well, that's the end of that. I'm beginning to hear troubling rumors. Farewell. Um, but yeah, no, it's, um, it's not anything like cancer or anything, I, we don't think, like, for sure yet, so, it's not anything I'm super worried about, um, if I was worried, I'd, I'd say something, I'm not fucking worried. I, I haven't got a reason to be worried yet. Uh. Okay. Now we need to convince Jack and Diane over here. Whoa, new guy. 
Diane handles most of Right on. Huh? Grew up. Papa says I cut like off the stranger. head and a snake will die. Like hey, look who it is, Brit. What do you mean? Oh. Groot. Uh. Uh, because the, um, when you do that, it, it skips that time. Uh I guess the chairman's days are numbered. You're not one of my regulars. Hmm, you look like you could handle yourself in effects. All right, I'll if you can find out what happened. About, he should have been. Rumor from the strip is that he should have been with us in our glory. I hope the old bastard choked on his own tongue. All right, so I know where Anders is. He's over by Cottonwood Cove. So we're gonna go to Cottonwood Cove and we're gonna say hi to him. And um, see if we can get him off the cross without. Getting him fucking killed. Because sometimes you can rescue him. But... And if you rescue him from Caesar's Legion, this is the uh, quote-unquote hard way of... Uh... Yeah, no, so I have a mod on F uh, FCO Fallout Character Overhaul that makes the faces look a lot better. Uh please help me. Thank God. Thanks for getting me down from that cross. A Legion patrol caught me trying to cross the road. They did? Thanks. You've saved my life and done the great cons of Okay. Well, not exactly. So basically we're waiting 24 hours for him to go to Red Rock ahead of us and then we're going to fast travel to Red Rock and hope he's there and then hope to God. Oh no. Oh no. I hope he's there.
share a whiskey with? Anders told me what happened. We owe you Oh, he made it back. Tell you what. I can give you caps as a thank you or a special. Uh, I'll take the recipe. Here you go. With Anders out of commission for so long, we're short-handed on runners. We've got an associate in the Crimson Caravan Trading Company who distributes for us in out of Vegas. He's been after us. Great. Here's the package. Your contact is Don Hostetler at the Crimson Caravan. Me sometime? Okay. Yeah. Mildly suspicious package. So I guess I'm a drug dealer now. Sweet! This beats guarding shitty caravans any day. I'm ready to Russell. On the other side of the law. Excuse me, sir. Hello there. Welcome to the crim. Well, uh, we actually. Uh. Huh? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, I broke into your house in the middle of the night. Also, I'm gonna take some shit from your home. Even have anything worth taking? Pressure cooker, sure. Take your pressure cooker. But you know what? You have a pretty good setup in here. You know, you could be much worse off out in the wastes. You know, not a bad setup here, bud. I even got a bathroom. You got plumbing. It looks like you got a fresh one in the toilet. The sink's busted, but you know, you can still make it work. <sighs> Tonight on Fallout HGTV. <laughs> Chip tries to move Nancy into a duplex. She wants to be close to the city, but her husband wants a clear view of the Mojave Wasteland. Their budget is three nickels hey, and two Skittles like they found the under the dryer. Anders got back a little while before you did. He told me what happened. If that's how the Legion treats my... Don't worry, Jack and I have talked it over. Yeah, you did good finding him. Up. You up? I've got a ship of jet and psycho that needs to be delivered to Motor Runner at Bolt. Don't get cocky. The fiends are twitchy. Most of them won't bother a con, but the ones outside the... Here's the package. Yeah, you made a pretty good argument. We'll keep it small. my fucking arms. Go, baby. Oh, speaking of, um, your boy is, uh, trying to get swole, so.
Wow. You all fucking died. Who would have thunk it? Oh shit, I did not mean to pick up everything that prick had on him. Ain't this a bitch? Oh, there's more. Kill the dog first, ATF style. And shoot that guy. And then his wife. Oh shit. Oh, damn right he did. Oh, son of a fucking bitch. There's more of you. So back here is clear. Here is clear. Alright, now we have Vault 3 discovered. Let's go down into the thing. Uh. I might get Rex. This is what I've been waiting to see a big bad con bringing in the medicine. No need. Motor runners down in the maintenance wing. Straight through. I was just kidding about tossing me some psych. We have a con coming through to see the boss. Don't shoot at him. Hey. scared of those robots on the strip since they changed. Like who needs the strip anyway? Prim is gonna be much tougher to get around that new sheriff out there. Wait a minute, before I do this, I should go. I should leave the vault. And then I should go over to Camp McCadden. Um, yeah, no, I, I always kill everybody in Vault 3 eventually.
No, I'm not. I changed. I was dressed like a con. <sighs> but it doesn't matter because my game fucking crashed. Fantastic. It's gonna be one of those nights. Yeah, that's why I'm going back to Camp McCarran so I can accept the quest so I can get the experience for finding him and also get the NCR rep for uh, rescuing him and sending him back. Yeah, zero, zero technical issues or problems. Surprisingly stable, actually. God damn it. I'm a fucking scream, dude. Yeah, so I actually, the first time I went through the vault, I killed everyone there for fun because I was bored and I had nothing else to do. And I guess when you're a sociopath with a long history of violence, you just murder people for fun. So, um, <clears throat> I, uh, sat there and killed everybody in, th in the vault. Uh, never killed Motor Runner. Um, like, the only dude in the vault that you're supposed to kill. Um, so... That kind of, uh... That kind of set us back a bit. In terms of, uh... In terms of productivity on my first run, because I, uh... You know, I killed everybody else, like, in the three-card bounty thing. So, uh, Cook, Cook, Driver, Nefi, and Violet. But never killed... Uh, motor Runner. And if you don't kill Motor Runner, you don't get the good ending for the Fiends. So, meh. But, um... Yeah, Cook Cook is just outside of the South Vegas ruins. So he's like, just outside the just outside area of Alt 3. Yeah, Cook Cook is like the only one of those bounties that has a well no I'd say Driver Nefi has a cool gimmick because with his gimmick you get to uh have um yes what is it unfortunately sounds like they've run into over it's been so bad I asked Sergeant it's our main. Calm is what you. As in chem. They set up shop. But every day there's more. Hell of a thing lose. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. It, but the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader. You hear something like a chainsaw? You found Motor Runner. Put a so, yeah. <sighs> um, Fucking Cook Cook has the gimmick where you kill his pet Brahmin and he goes ape shit and tries to kill everybody. Uh, Driver Nefi, his gimmick is the fucking um 
what's it called? Fuck. Can't think of the name. So the first thing we're going to do is find the ranger. And I think we do that by... I thought it was something in here, but it might be in living quarters. Try living quarters, and if we can't find anything in the living quarters, then we'll come back. Nope, it's definitely in living quarters, because uh, what we just heard was uh, the sound of New Vegas spawning a corpse. So, fun fact, uh, in... New Vegas, when a corpse spawns, uh, a lot of corpses, when they initially spawn, to create some random effect, they'll essentially blow off like a random limb. It'll randomly generate a limb to blow off, and then kill an NPC. So, uh, it'll be a live NPC the first time you load into an area for like a split second. But yeah. Well, that's wacky. Not as it's not quite as clever as the train scene in Fallout 3, but it's close. The train scene in Fallout 3, where the uh, the train when it's moving, because there's no vehicles in Fallout 3, the uh, when the train's moving, it's a uh, the the train is a hat on an NPC. That was a pretty when ingenious way of working within the limitations. Of the game. How the hell did you get in here? Who the hell are you? Shu sent you? You can go back to old Shu. What's it look like? I caught one in the leg. I hold up here after I killed that one. They're too stupid to unlock the door, so I, I just need a day or two. Then I'll take out Motor Runner myself. God damn it. Are you trained as a doctor? God damn it. Fine. Here, take this. Okay. Now Homeboy will sneak out, go in, I need to get some more and sell the drugs to Motor Runner. Expecting a resupply so soon. About goddamn time. Tell the cons they can't keep us. I wasn't expecting a resupply. I'm paying 20 caps each. All right, 22 caps. I guess it isn't a secret. Yeah, funny thing is, they just let us in. Okay, our deal...
Thanks for doing. Alright, so we'll finish out doing the cons quest line, then we'll come back and kill Motor Runner. And the rest of the fiends in the vault. And now we'll free the hostages when we come back. Did you make that delivery yet? And you didn't even get skinned alive. I'm impressed. Here's your paper. That's right, sweet. Not right at the moment. Hello. How's my most favoritest? Oh, it's cool, man. Diane passed me the haps on that Fandango. buying stim packs from the cons stim packs i talk them into making with ncr currency give me a shout if you need anything else something ironic about that already on it i whipped up a few stim packs already but if you've got any more recipes i'll take Oh yeah. I remember this bitch now. I also remember there's an exploit to get to her, so let's do that shit, because I'm not going through Quarry Junction. Need to scroll down. Down on the actual page. Well, I think what that also does is it'll also make his, uh, it'll also make his, um, fucking, uh, stim, like, ha he'll have more stim packs for sale. So I think we also might need to get our survival skill up. That's something we can work on. We we can kind of cheat this. If I can find the right angle to hit this at, we can... Because I have the invisible wall remover mod, we can scurry our way over this shit. If we can just find the right angle. I've done harder shit in Bethesda games before. Come on. I 
Oh wait, I don't even have to scurry over shit. It's right here. V to change That's my view. Close enough. Awaiting a delivery, but it's a no show. Supplies to make cams. We don't really use the cams ourselves. Is that Yeah, I don't know why she's Australian. That's fucking weird. Uh. Right. All right, here's the deal. I was expecting a shipment of chemicals. It's usually in a suitcase dropped off. Because of the death clause, I have to... I wouldn't eat or drink them, but no. Don't kill anybody if you don't have to. What do you want now? You can ask. What? That lot. Lord knows where Russell went, but I'm gonna go get this suitcase full of what I can only assume is muriatic acid, caustic soda, and hydrogen chloride. That was a meth joke. Uh, well, yeah, there was also another debacle with another voice actor that we're not gonna go into, but... Some, some people probably already know what I'm talking about. Yes, Jake. Yes, they are. Oh, look at all the little death claw babies. Isn't that fucking cute? Such a fucking shame we ain't gonna be bothering them. There's a voice actor in the game that's for a it's for a fucking um what's it called? You need something? Ah, yes. I think I know which friend you mean. The supplier, a guy in Prim named Tyrone, is a cheating son of a... And he's always been shady, but this... Yeah, so I also, uh, I filmed myself doing, uh, pistol drills the other day. I don't know if I should upload it, because I don't know if that'd be cringe or not. 
but I was gonna upload it as like a short or something. I don't know for sure though. Hey, hey, what can Tyro? You trying to get me busted? Keep your damn voice down. Look, I already told Chomps the NCR is getting suspicious of all these misplaced supplies. Fine. I'll just eat the cost and do a favor for Chomp. be an NCR dick rider and expose them. Yeah. Let's go to the fucking cons. want now you actually came through for us I if you ever come out to re Four of my most trusted advisors have told Hmm. But I want to leave a legacy of greatness when I die. My... Tell me then. Well spoken, traveler. Well spoken indeed. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll... De If you should ever tire of wandering alone, seek us out. going on name's Rebus long long story short basically I'm the guy hey how would you excellent none of these jerk off take see they're all focused on this whole Diana's the only one besides me who understands that we need caps to survive and you see where I'm going with this some ghoul near west side arranged a big jet delivery he got his skins but I ain't seen a single so, I want you to deal with it. I don't care what you- The guy's name is Matt Graves. Get the cap from him, however you want to do it. How do you spell gesticulate? Alright, and now we're on to the... I think this is the initiation. About some curry 
time is it? 10.55. Okay. Over the strip. Must have delivered more than just mail. Yeah. What? Not meaning to be rude. Name's Ryan. O'Neill. I'm with the West Side Militia. Back on the What a my story. Don't abbreviated version is that once there was an irrationally angry man living in the Mojave. Once they settled in, they had entirely too many children. Yeah, a ludicrous number of them. Some of us even live to... Most of them are off the reservation. I know my oldest sister is living in the NCR, as my very slightly older brother Jerry is still in Westside. Probably passed out in some alleyway, a puddle of his own making. And I'm pretty sure my baby brother Danny is somewhere in the Mojave. Chase... We're all there. About as well as expect, that is to say, not good. Too many ravening lunatics up. Well, now you're in for it. Best get ready to work yourself into an early grave. Let's start off with something simple. Some scorpion prick managed to waylay a courier that was... Our crops were keeping us self-sufficient for the moment. So, if you could jog over to Monte Carlo and retrieve the shipment... Oh hey, yeah, I forgot about this place where a creepy, horny blood lady is. Just trying to discover as many of these locations as I can. Save myself walking time later. Ain't this a bitch? Dog's face looked fucking goofy. <laughs> hey there, you want some fucking pancakes? <laughs> Jesus Christ.
Uh, ten. Ten luck. Fucking McSpoolies. Are you? I don't know, those leather clad dildos a goddamn thing. I ordered because I want to get fucking high. But I took a hit of this. The cons ripped me up. Wait, what? What the fuck? Is that a fucking joke? No. You're serious. I didn't know that. Fuck. Fine, I'll pay the c- Still got a bit of a walk ahead of Everything cool? Beautiful. Hey, stop by again soon. What's going on? This one is a bit simple. A couple of runners got stopped on their way back by some idiot in power armor. Thankfully, this guy is a fucking moron. His name is Brother Page, and he's shacked up in some old bunker in Crescent Canyon. The door locks. He stole our caps, but from what I hear, he lost those pretty quickly. No, this is for our sister that he killed, the Great Con. So I want you to go into his bunker. Here's his key. But don't... Oh, our explosives is getting up there. Holy fuck. Okay. Uh... Shit. I guess we'll start maxing survival next. Uh, because survival, we get the recipe for Hydra, so we can max their, uh...
Trooper ready to fight. Trooper ready to fight. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Um, oh, uh, tons. Tons of mods. And also, if you're asking why we killed that NCR soldier, because the ranger that keeps spawning in fucking, uh, Red Rock. So, um, hoping that because I know what's happening is it's the NCR Ranger that you get from the emergency radio. Uh, so what I trying to do is I call the trooper, hoping calling the trooper will and the trooper dying will make it so that Ranger stops spawning because it'll be the last thing that was called in was the trooper and not the Ranger. So. And if that doesn't work, then I'll try calling supply support next. I don't know what that does. Um, but there's, there are literally, literally dozens of mods installed. Uh... From retextures to weapons to animations, uh, overhauls, bug fixes, quest mods. Like right now, we're doing a modded quest. Um, In the latest COD game, they don't catapult, because the, the latest COD game is MW2. They fly it in on a helicopter. I don't know if they're changing it in MW3 to be something stupid, like... It gets, like... Shot onto the battlefield by a fucking cruise missile or some shit. Oh. Oh, that's... That's a... That's a lad. So there's, there's golden geckos here. Good to know. Also, I'm going down into this shithole canyon. And... Yep. Uh, Animal Friend takes away so much combat in the game, dude. Like, it's cool when you're role-playing through the Honest Hearts DLC and you're like, you know, doing the whole one with nature shit, but...
What the hell? Hell, uh, <laughs> how'd you get in here? Uh, not like it matters. Hey! Guy, uh... Who? Great gun. Do you have any drugs? I guess it doesn't matter. Or it was to kill everyone in the bunker. In my book, you ain't exempt. General Mills. The cereal. Alright. Fuck it. I'm gonna enjoy gutting you. Likewise, kid. Li Lean nipples. <laughs> Jethro Mills, Billy Nipples, and Crazy Ronald. Billy Nipples? <laughs> that name is just too good, dude.
Oh yeah, he had a lot of anger on that page. What's going on? Good job. There's one more thing I need done, but you've done good work. Go and take some time for yourself. What's going on? I did. This one is heavy, my friend. But I talked it up, and we've decided that if you pull this off... So, here's the deal. You've probably heard some rumblings about someone who calls himself Big Daddy. This motherfucker is out of his mind. Completely psychotic. And he has it out for us, for some... He needs to die. We know where he's hiding, but there's a complication. It's locked up tighter than Mr. House's toilet. We need a key. You need a key. But I got a solution. Big dumb shits build himself a gang of raiders, thugs, and bounty hunters. And the leader of those bounty hunters is hanging around some bar in Outer Vegas. I'm willing to bet he has a key on him. So you kill him, get the key, and you got a clear shot to big dumb shit. Kill him. Good luck. So kill more people than you guys have among you. And then I get to be one of you. So massacre like 55, 60 people. A superhuman feat. Uh -huh. And then I get to be part of your shitty little organization that can barely manage to not kill each other or themselves. Got it. I guess I'll go offload my shit real quick. And yes, I did just fucking John Marston everybody in that barn, but you know, better than John Marston because he got fucking gotted. Welcome, sir, or ma I'm like John Marston, but better than John Marston. And now I sit back and watch the comments fucking explode. <laughs> Actually, he can't be John Marston because that is not an option. It can't be just as good as John Marston. Nobody's as good as John Marston. Arthur Morgan was a better protagonist. I'm tired of fucking pretending otherwise.
Yeah, I um, I I firmly do believe though that that John Marston was like he was a decent main character, but Arthur Morgan was fucking better. And there's not a soul on this fucking planet that can convince me otherwise. Because a oh, son of a fucking bitch, you motherfucker. Now, where are their fucking kids? Ending their goddamn bloodline here. Eyes up. Eye on top. You just fucked with the wrong ranger. Come on, glitch enough through the rock so I can shoot you in the fucking Open face. Wide, Come on, dickhead. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna show some love for the grand this room. Since we're pissing off the Legion, there's an errand we need to run first. Sudden move. Keeping. Dude, Cazadors were like the worst thing in this game. And then some psychopath made a fucking mod for this game that uh, makes Kazaclaws. So, Deathclaw, Cazador hybrid, fucking abominations. Um, so yeah, some fucking Satanist did that shit. to the puzzle palace I'm glad to see you here we could definitely I've got the legion I need someone if I can get and the more that get... good quartermaster I've heard of you. You kidding me, man? How are everyone is either starving or dying out here? I'd rather be any. 
my problem. We're out of food, we're out of men, and we're out of time. Today, tomorrow. So why don't you just... God, the NCR has literally made a bunch of fucking crybabies. sound like the LT. I sh that shit was my fault. She's my... Nobody... She trusts her life to... I think it's kind of cool that the first recon, like, once you handle the bounties, get transferred over to, uh... Forlorn Hope, kind of cool, but I also wish they had a little unique dialogue about it. Look who we have here. Always nice. To I've been placed in charge of Mirai. In fact, there's more hope in wrangling Brahmin. Ironic, but it's understandable. Const. I call that, but I can't complain. I'm not in the field as much as the others. I just stay, which reminds me of something I've been meaning to try. <laughs> Great. You get it? Yeah, it was bad. I'll... Great. Don't be surprised if you're already last when you return. If I'm right, the troopers will... Can I help you with anything? Hey. There we go. Now we can go back to murdering everybody in that cavern. Because <clears throat> if I'm killing, goddammit, I'm going to take souvenirs. Only hated, we can do better than that, kids. cabin
Damn, literally, oh shit. No, 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 no. I'm gonna quick save before I get fucked by something I'm not gonna see coming. Oh, holy fuck. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's not good. What's the fucking hotkey to change? So now we're just going to go ahead and yeah, select that.
Oh fuck. That's really not good. Are there any more survivors among you? Because if there are... You'd be well advised to pretend you're dead until I leave. guess that's everything down here. This cave is literally just Iwo Jima, the fucking movie. Actually, you know what? That's a good question. How many people have I killed in this playthrough? Which, by the way, I want to second that. Nothing that I have done... It, like, I haven't done anything in this playthrough off-stream. So, everything that has been done has been done on-stream. Um... <laughs> So apparently I have very good karma. I've used 242 stim packs, picked 44 locks, so I've killed a total of like 1,200 things, but 523 people. 
So individual lives snuffed out in terms of human life, 523. It's kind of handy that your pit boy keeps track of that. I wonder if there's like a diving watch that keeps track of how many people you murdered. A fucking diving watch, and it's just like some fucking like Patrick Bateman head ass, and it's just like off the fucking charts. Just hundreds of people. Hey, I killed the dude, and I also killed all of his friends by myself. I took a lot of drugs, by the way. Fucking. Well, he's done. From now on, don't worry about the traditional beatdown. Bar. Use your very own cut. Wear with pride. Also, we. See you around. I look like a male stripper. I'm taking this off. I don't know why you morons wear leather in the fucking desert. Hey man, what's... You're shitting me. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Sorry, just not used to actual patched in members actually being willing to help us out. Usually, I just have to make prospects through the- Speaking of which, I could use some help with that specifically. Cute little red-haired thing. She has to join up out of nowhere. Never seen- I gave her a delivery job. Nothing too big. I need you to find her and see what's up. Right, Mojave Outpost, or whatever it's called. It's a place with the- and Watch out for those NCR dudes. Alright, one last thing that we're going to do on stream and then I'm going to wrap it up for the night. Because it is getting pretty late. So we're going to go get that stupid Jerry Punk kid accepted by the uh, followers. And now he's talking about Eliza. It's another uh, mod that we have on. It kind of ties into some other shit around here. That we can do. Not my problem. Just an average day in Freeside, you know, walking down the road, blasting a rat the size of a fucking Doberman with a 30 out six. <laughs> see you again uh the big man we're always looking for excellent ezekiel's been after me to find it sure You'll need to wait another 24 hours. It looks like we've got enough medics for the moment, but it...
We have a good stock of Rataway. Right we don't have a lot right. I know it's not because I don't have any. Yeah, I still have Rataway and I still have Medex. Welcome back, friend. I need to get Yeah, I'm gonna need to get some fixer to donate. So I'm gonna need to go. This is actually just Holly Hill. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Which That's a reference only I understand, but it's a shitty area near me. Time to go back to the Atomic Grand Glear, see if we can buy some fixer. Welcome back, friend. Hey, once our stills are upgraded, most might view it. We've got enough crime. Okay, so I couldn't find any fixer there, so now I guess we're gonna go it up. I guess we'll hit up the drug dealer. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. Hey, you're the one who's people only at Mick and Ralph's. We'll hit up the drug dealer and Mick and Ralph's. See if we can find. Anything better? Looking for a fix, man? Give me a shout if you need anything. Hey, thanks for getting Bill Ronte fixed up. Now, what? Okay, so now I'll go to New Vegas Medical Clinic. <sighs> Check there.
You're back. No, I haven't. Actually, you know, that's something I should do. You're back. De One other thing I forgot to mention. The healthier you are... That would be the Nemian subdur- It won't make you- Have a seat in- You're back. All right. That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration. The implant is... Have a... I just spent 20,000 caps on endpoints. Which is like nothing. One casino run, I can fucking screw that back up. So, not a big deal. To be honest, when's the last time I paid for anything in this game? <clears throat> and then the last thing we'll do is we'll hit up the follower safe house. That might have a fixer there. Oh, Jesus H fuck, what's happening? I just got here. Didn't your mother teach you it's rude to fire 40 millimeter grenades at people when they're just meeting you? You're gonna That's pretty cool, I like that. I like that a lot better than the uh, chrome. Cyber Vegas 2077. I think it's really funny that Cyberpunk takes place in 2077, but then also in Fallout lore, the uh, year the bomb fell is also 2077. Might be just a coincidence, but I always think it's kind of weird.
thought there was supposed to be like medical supplies here and shit. Kinda of lame-o wamo. You know what, fuck it, I spent 20 grand on implants, and one of them is an implant that isn't even gonna help me. I'm gonna give myself some fucking fixer. Thank you for the literal pocket change. I just dropped 20 grand on a whim. Your fucking applause means nothing to me. I've seen what makes you people cheer. again. Great to see you again. Thanks for the donation. You know what? I just want to look this up. Okay, so I'm honestly pleasantly surprised. Well, it looks like you've earned yourself. 
here at Many syllables. I wonder if anything rhymes with what. Everybody, if you sure, hmm. what we did. So, you've been sucked into the decadence of the strip as well, have you? All right. Well, we did our good deed of the night. Next time, I guess we'll do uh, Eliza and maybe some more of the uh, vanilla game quests. Maybe we'll help out Forlorn Hope a little bit. See if uh, we can get into some shenanigans over there. Need to get more Legion ears, I think. I think it's what, 30 or 50? Yeah. Okay, so I need to collect thirty legionnaires. That should be pretty easy.
Well, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Now that we got to a good stopping point, we'll go ahead and start Eliza the next time, and then we'll probably just dick around with some of the base game stuff. Um, As always, thanks for tuning in, boys. Uh, it's been a pleasure, and I will see you all in the next stream.